Hi, I'm Cynthia Kolaki and then I'm an art and drama educator. So uh, we are so excited. Today we have like a two days art festival uh, in collaboration with Task Force for Music and Arts. When it comes to art, art is everything for me. Like from the starting from the blank paper on canvas or anything. So I see art everywhere and celebrating this World Art Day is like something very intimate for me. It's like a connection, building up with the artists and also uh, increasing the number of visual artists in Nagaland. That's what we are looking for. I'm Arla Nungshi. I'm a visual artist and I paint contemporary art and um, modern art. This is a contemporary art. This depicts womanhood. Uh, this, usually this is a sanctum tribe. So this, all, this painting, it talks about the livelihood of Naga women, their lifestyles and their hard works and their leisure also. I did a sketching, drawing, like gardens, you know. But actual painting, I started when I was in my 10th standard. We were going for painting competition, so that was the first time I participated in painting competition. And uh, from there, I got inspired and I started to paint. It's been so many years. It's just a hobby. It's a very good opportunity for us visual artists because uh, not only on closed stores, within closed stores, we could, we could participate in open space also. So I'm very excited. Last year also we, uh, we celebrated this World Art Day at uh, Arsimba. It was very nice and this is the second time I'm participating. Art nurtures creativity, innovation and cultural diversity for all people irrespective of gender and age. It plays an important role in sharing knowledge and encouraging curiosity and dialogue in the minds of the people. And a step to promote and increase the interest of art culture in the state. Task Force for Music and Arts, TAFMA, in collaboration with the Visual Artists of Nagaland, presents a two-day art festival celebrating the World Art Day.